I try to practice competition and intellectual property law. And so let me see if I can try to bring things back a bit to the issues that have um, um, preoccupied ESIS for all these years. For the moment, there's no single company that dominates the cloud. Uh, and if there isn't any dominant company, then there's no basis for um, attacking anything under um, abuse of dominance law. Um, however, I would suggest, um, and I'm sure that um, DG Competition and uh, DG Comp's colleagues across the globe and other antitrust authorities will be vigilant um, in uh, watching this carefully because there are um, risks of uh, abuses of dominance uh, in the cloud. Um, if dominant positions do arise, um, and the cloud, of course, could potentially be segmented into different markets in ways that we cannot yet anticipate. Um, but there are some quite important issues, not issues that will call it, that will cause mass starvation, um, as, but um, nonetheless important issues um, that will potentially very seriously affect competition. For example, applications portability. Um, this is not anything really new. Um, but it nonetheless remains extremely important. Um, if um, applications um, are prevented by dominant players from being portable, that can very seriously restrict competition. Uh, and so that's something which competition authorities, I would su suggest, need to watch. Data portability is, of course, something which has been mentioned repeatedly today uh, and will be important um, going forward if um, users of the cloud are not able to, either by technical restrictions or contractual restrictions, able to port their data, then that can be used by dominant players to seriously restrict competition. Um, and so these are the sorts of things which competition authorities need to watch out for. Tying is another possibility. We've seen that in a number of cases, for example, in the Microsoft case. Uh, and if cloud service providers um, become dominant and seek to um, tie um, products to dominant services that they provide, for example, then that could um, be uh, a serious problem. Um, and again, obviously, standards are critical uh, in the cloud, um, and there are a number of issues that are not new to the cloud, ones that, that Lindsay um, mentioned, such as patent holdup, and the like, and all those issues simply need to be addressed with vigilance in the cloud context in the same way that they have been heretofore. Um, so, bottom line with respect to competition law, um, I would suggest that vigilance is required, but there's really no current need for any significant action. And there is, I would suggest, a need for quite significant flexibility. Um, there, as Katharina and others have pointed out, there are quite a number of different types of clouds that are implemented in different ways. There are very different types of cloud users from individual citizens to very large corporations and governments. Their needs and the way they use the, the, the different types of cloud services are very, very different. Um, and one has to be, I would suggest, very careful in not seeking to impose a straitjacket um, with respect, for example, to contract provisions that might fit in one context but not at all in others. So. Um, I would suggest that um, caution is very much in order um, in that respect. Um, so the final and sort of third main point that I would address is that it seems to me that governments, including the European Commission, are largely doing what they should be doing. Um, they're trying to lift the fog. They're trying to figure out what the hell is going on um, and um, bring clarity to the situation and um, consider whether things do need to be done, might need to be done. Um, so mapping the standards clearly is an extremely important thing to do. Um, to consider what sorts of contractual clauses might be appropriate in certain contexts and developing, for example, for government procurement um, um, agencies, um, what sorts of clauses they might need to protect themselves uh, and to consider procurement practices in the context of the cloud that can be shared across governments as best practices. Those strike me as extremely important things to do at this stage of cloud development. Uh, so bottom line is governments, all of us should keep at it 
keep thinking ahead, um, and I guess in particular thinking of the grim prospects that Andy um, outlined and making sure that we anticipate and avoid those. <laughs>